Marvel just teased a huge revelation for their coming relaunch of their X-Men comic books. I wanna break that down. Plus, we need to talk about these MCU Fantastic Four casting rumors. It's like the news, but for nerds. Subscribe so you never miss an episode. Today's shout out goes to In A Nut Cell. Indeed, Tom King was recently taken off Batman. Make sure you stay to the end of this video where we will ask another nerd card question. What's up everybody? Happy Thursday to you. I'm of course Josh. This is the Den of Nerds and man, do we have a good show for you today. And Den of Nerds fans, you can drop a like on this video. It'd be awesome. Help us out like you have been. Let's go for 3,000 likes once again. All right, first let's get into these casting rumors, guys. Crazy stuff coming out from We've Got This Covered, talking about about how Liam Hensworth is being eyed by Marvel Studios or at least put on a short list for people to be Johnny Storm, AKA the Human Torch in the MCU version of the Fantastic Four. Now let's be real, we've got this covered as sort of a less than reputable, but I actually do buy into this report, sort of. Let me explain. I went through this whole stupid article and honestly it's a lot of fluff and a lot of talking about things that we already knew, but the one thing that I think is true in this report is that Marvel Studios is making a decision between whether or not to hire someone older to play these roles or someone younger. They're looking for older or younger actors and trying to decide what direction they want to take the MCU Fantastic Four. So I think it is true that Marvel Studios is considering looking at some younger actors to play Johnny Storm and they are looking at Liam Hemsworth along with a lot of other people that he's basically on a short list of people that they think would be good for the role. Now lately we've gotten a lot of conflicting reports on what exactly is happening with the MCU Fantastic Four. Some people say there's nothing happening while others are saying that Marvel is both developing a Fantastic Four movie and streamlining it for a 2022 release. Now, the way I read these reports is that I, I do think it's true. Like, I do think Marvel is developing Fantastic Four, but it's in the first early stages of development. And, you know, it could change a lot. There's nothing super concrete. But the bottom line is there are people at Marvel Studios talking about this Fantastic Four. And I think the 2022 date is something being passed around the company. The sources on that are actually pretty good. Now, the reason why some other leakers and reporters are saying that it's not true or not verified by them is because again, I think this is a really small production to start with. This is just at the very first stages of pre-production, but it will snowball really quickly. So the more smoke we get, the more rumors, the more leaked things about it, the more we can be sure that it's actually going on. I mean, plainly Marvel Studios has a full plate right now. They're both producing and developing two movies right now. This would include the Black Widow movie, the Eternals movie. They're, they're in pre-production on Shang Chi making a bunch of hires there and they're also working a lot on their Disney Plus stuff. I don't know exactly where Falcon and the Winter Soldier is at right now but it's either about to shoot or is shooting. It's likely that's where that's at in production. So basically they've got a lot and they've got a lot going on in different you know people and departments so again this is why there's conflicting reports with this report report. But that's the story. They are looking at some young actors and looking at Liam Hemsworth specifically for the Johnny Storm character. I want to know what you guys think about this. Do you agree that they are indeed streamlining this Fantastic Four movie or do you think that's all bogus? And either way, who would you cast as these members of the Fantastic Four? Let me know in the comment section below. All right, so let's get into this crazy X-Men news. Now, this is all referring to the relaunch of the X-Men line at Marvel Comics after they cancel all of their X-Men books and allow Jonathan Hickman to sort of relaunch the whole series. And the two coming books from Jonathan Hickman are going to just set the stage for all of the future X-Men stories from here and recontextualize all the past X-Men stories. And just for clarification, the reason that we're covering this in regards to the MCU is because the timing here is really interesting with the Fox deal happening and so Marvel will likely be looking at what Hickman does and see if they want to bring any of that into the films. And also because Jonathan Hickman stuff just tends to show up in the MCU you a lot. A lot of his material from comic book runs have been adapted into several huge MCU films before. So this teaser image right here was released by Marvel earlier today and it's obviously of a Lincoln Memorial like monument to Professor X and it denotes that he has died. He's in the new design with like the mobile Cerebro on his head and that weird bodysuit thing. This is you know just what the visual look of Professor X has been so far teased for this Hickman run. And engraved on the statue is this. It says, in this temple, as in the hearts of the people, for whom he saved mutant kind, the memorial of Charles Xavier is enshrined forever. 
So basically when this happened, all of the internet had the same reaction. What does it mean? Now it's unclear if this is gonna be sort of a Tarantino start that shows the ending of the run right away and we're gonna get the lead up to what happened when Charles Xavier died, or if maybe Charles Xavier is dead at the start of this story. Now currently in the 616 continuity, Charles Xavier is dead and he was killed by Cyclops during Avengers vs. X-Men. And to my knowledge, he's not back at all in comics. I mean, you know, maybe he is in some way. I, I haven't been reading X-Men lately, so I don't know. But that's the last I remember. Now let's go to Speculation Town a bit. Hickman did say that within his new run, there will be the most important scene ever in Marvel Comics. And this scene would take place between Professor X and an unknown mutant girl. And it'd be sort of like a telepathic conversation, or at least that's what people are speculating about right now. And the two books that are coming out are described as this. First, there's House of X, which is supposed to be about a pivotal month in the history of the X-Men, and it will change things for them forever. And then there's the book Powers of X, which apparently goes over the unknown history of the mutants and will recontextualize things. I believe that this shot of Charles Xavier dying like this could be from the powers of X, denoting sort of a secret history of them, perhaps even an alternate dimension where things happen differently for X-Men and for mutant kind. There's also this weird alien stuff that is in this memorial and no one really has any clue what that is, although it's likely to tie into the story later. It's also unclear if this image is a splash panel within a story, if it's the cover of something, if it's a special cover, but it's at the very least intriguing as hell. There are all sorts of possibilities here it could have to do with aliens or robots or something going on with you know sentinel droids it could tie into secret wars through maybe an alternate dimension where all of the x-men go perhaps a world where the x-men did things differently i really think that you know if you know hickman it's going to be absolutely crazy and really cool and, and have some crazy tie-ins to places you wouldn't think would tie in from the x-men's past but that's the news guys this image is just confusing and yet exciting a lot of Marvel X-Men fans. I want to know what you think about this. Do you think that this story will start with the death of Professor X? Is this going to happen at the end of the story and we'll figure it out? Is Charles Xavier coming back from the grave and, and will that have some kind of crazy impact on where we go from here? Any and every thought that you have about this image and about the coming relaunch of the X-Men by Jonathan Hickman, please let me know in the comments section below. Now let's check the nerd card before we get out of here. I want to know what was the inside Exciting incident of the House of M. Pretty classic legendary uh, event there for the X-Men. You'll know it if you're a fan. What started the House of M? Answer that question in the comments section below. As I always say, I hope you're having an awesome and a nerdy day and I'll see you in the next video.